Carlisle Citadel has open doors this week, as people are let in to be given guided tours of the buildings as a way of entertaining families during the school half term. Well, we're doing the tours this week, so it's each day this week, today, tomorrow and Friday, at one o'clock. And they last about an hour and 15 minutes. Because it's February and still a bit cool, we, we do offer uh, hot drinks afterwards, or cold ones if the children prefer those. <laughs> I've been associated with the Citadel for a great many years. We've been doing tours uh, here for about 25 years. And I like to think that not only do we give an interesting tour, both to children and adults, I think that it's important that we keep uh, a building like this in, uh, in people's minds because it's, it makes such a wonderful entry into the city, either driving up Botchigate or arriving at the railway station. Lots of people think it's the castle, <laughs> actually. Well, I think it's important for children and they do find it interesting. We do this week, of course, it's the school half term. It's February, we've, you know, we're in the winter, it can get a bit um, miserable with the weather. And I think when this holiday week comes along, I think uh, the children and mums and dads and grandparents sometimes are ready to get out and about, get a bit of fresh air, but also it is inside a building. The tours employ a number of those most knowledgeable in Carlisle's history and heritage to pass on their information of the buildings to the younger generations. Went on to be the jails used by the county jails, and then in the early 1800s, William Lowther, Lord Lonsdale, uh, headed up a movement to demolish the eastern walls of the city of Carlisle and to create two new uh, courthouses here on the site of the original drum towers, which were effectively formed the wings of the citadel ordered by Henry VIII and up until the uh, opening of the new courts on Warwick Road in the 1990s this was where it all happened. And the guides offered a flavour of what people can expect on the tours and detailed their reasoning for taking an interest in the city's past. When we have a chance to do both sides then of course we take them through into Downsea, the original Tudor drum towers, the original gun ports. We then show them around the Nisi Prius court, the civil court and then we bring them over and then we point out at the point uh, as we cross the road we point up to the walls at the point where we used to hang people and uh, we have used up to 20,000 people used to gather there so we point that out tell the story of the hangman and then we talk about the uh, sheriffs the county sheriffs that we have the high sheriffs um, we show the condemned cells and of course we finish off here in this fantastic courtroom here so these are vital these are part of the city's heritage and it's important that we maintain them and open them for everybody to see because I would think 90% of Carla walk through past and, and don't realise just what gems we have here to show them. I think we lose sight of where we're from. Uh, of course we are lucky because we have a natural interest in history so of course this always interests us anyway but I think it's important for people to realise just what we've got here. We have a fantastic city. It's nearly 2,000 years old. It's got lots of heritage. It's been besieged more times than any other city in Britain. We have so much to show people. And it's important, I think, that we, we let people see and people have the opportunity to see. And uh, it's our privilege and our pleasure to be able to do that. With many families looking for something to do with the kids during half term, Cumbria Tourism are eager to remind people that for something different, there's a couple of thousand years of history to play with. Kira McVadgen, that's TV.